Hi, I'm Carolyn. And this is my friend Phoebe. Hi. I love when Carolyn babysits because we always do fun craft projects together. One of our all-time favorites is a bouquet made out of egg carton flowers. I love it because the flowers never go bad. And I love to paint. In just a few easy steps, you can make your own bouquet perfect for springtime, Mother's or Father's Day. We'll show you how. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the supplies you'll need. You'll need acrylic paint, brushes, paper plates for palettes, scissors, water, the bottom of an egg carton, paper towels, and pipe cleaners. The first step is the best, paint. That's right, Phoebe. To get started, just paint the inside of your egg carton and then flip it over and do the outside. Each cup will be one flower and you can paint them however you like. What color are you using? I'm making a lot of purple ones. Ooh, good choice. Why purple? It's my favorite, plus, then it'll match my room. Hmm. When kids make simple decisions, like picking a paint color, they're actually developing their critical thinking skills. All right, now that we've finished the inside, let's flip it over and paint the outside. One reason I love crafting with kids is that it helps them with their hand-eye coordination, which is helpful for so many things like writing and playing sports. And plus, it's a great way for kids to practice counting in a fun way. One, two, three, four, five. Great job. Thank you. Now that we're finished, let's let these dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. While we wait, let's sing Merry, Merry, Quite Contrary. That's a flower song. That's a great idea. Merry, Merry, Quite Contrary, How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells And pretty maids all in a row. <laughs> great job. Now that the cartons are dry, I'll poke little holes in the bottom with scissors. Now I'll cut out each flower. And I'll pick out the stems. This part is a bit tough, so an adult really needs to do it. Six for me, and two, three, four, five, six for Carolyn. Okay, now we'll add the stems. Just make a little loop around your finger, like this, so that the pipe cleaner stays in place. And there you go, for you. <laughs> Beautiful. The last step is cutting petals into the cups. You can cut a lot and have little petals like this. Or if you cut just a few times, you get big petals like this or you can leave them as is. I want big petals. <laughs> you got it. Here are your scissors. And there you have it. Beautiful egg carton bouquets, perfect for decorating or gifts. Try this project at home and let us know how it goes by hashtagging your photos and videos with Mother Goose Club or by tagging us here on YouTube. And tune into our YouTube channels to find lots of fantastic videos for you and your kids. Thanks for dropping by and happy crafting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane and these are my kids, Alex and Emily. Hi. 
These guys love to play pretend, which is fantastic because they're using their imaginations and practicing social skills. Sometimes, we like to create simple props like these bunny ears. Props are a great way to spark the imagination. Today we'll show you how to make these bunny ears out of paper plates and cotton balls. <laughs> okay, for this craft, you'll need heavy paper plates that are white on at least one side, crayons, cotton balls, a pencil, safety scissors, and glue. The first step is to fold your plate in half like this. Next, draw the ear shape with a pencil like this. Now cut around the outline you just drew. If your kids can handle child-safe scissors, it's a good idea to let them try cutting. Cutting with scissors develops finger muscles, which kids need when they learn to write. If you're not comfortable with your kids using scissors, you can just do the cutting for them, or use a pre-cut plate so they can just assemble. Now open the plate and color the inside of the bunny ears any color you want. I'm doing pink. Now for my favorite part, adding cotton balls to make the ears fluffy. You can glue the cotton balls on as is, like this. Or stretch out the cotton balls and stick them on with little dabs of glue like this. Looking great, guys. Now let's let our bunny hats dry. You can adapt this craft to make bear ears, frog eyes, antlers, or anything else your kids can imagine. If you want to extend this craft, you can paint the hat different colors or add extras like feathers and glitter. Well, what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Let's pretend that I'm the mommy bunny and you're the baby bunny. Okay. <laughs> the best part of doing this craft is getting to play bunnies when you're done. Try making the bunny hat at home with your kids. And if you're the sharing type, please send me photos and videos. For more bunny fun, you and your kids can sing along with our bunny hop. You can find the video on YouTube. Hit us up with questions or comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our next video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, I'm Jane, and I love crafting with my kids, Alex and Emily, because it helps them learn a lot about themselves and how to get along with others. These are important skills for success in school. I like doing crafts because you can turn trash into pretty things. And I love glitter! So in this video, we're going to show you a fun craft that turns empty water bottles and toilet paper tubes into musical shakers. With glitter! <laughs> yes, Alex, plenty of glitter. For each shaker, you need an empty and dry water bottle, the short 8 ounce kind works best, a toilet paper tube or paper towel tube cut in half, scissors, electrical tape, a funnel, and something to fill the bottle with. We're using beans to make noise and glitter to make it pretty, but you can use whatever you want. Little jingle bells, paper clips, rice, beads, and confetti, anything that'll fit. All right, let's get started. The first step is to fill your bottles a third of the way with beans and glitter or whatever you're using. I've learned early on that it's best to keep glitter in a contained region. It can get pretty messy. Put that lid on good and tight. 
We cut the tube next, right? That's right. Do you want to go first? Sure. Emily can do her own cutting, but usually I handle it for Alexandra, especially when it comes to thicker material like cardboard. All done. Now, can you put this over the mouth of the bottle? Step five, tape the tube to the bottle. Make sure to tape the tube very securely to the bottle. I know the next step. What is it? Decorating with tape. That's right. Yeah, and I want to use silver, blue, and white. Oh my goodness, okay, let's do it. Why don't we start with silver first? Okay. Great. How about I will cut the pieces of tape for you, and then you can tape them on the tube. Okay. Are you done with the white tape yet? Can I use it? Sure. One thing I love about crafting is that it's a great way to teach your kids how to take turns and work together. Look, Mom, I made a heart. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so cool. I made one for you too, Alex. Thank you so much. So are you guys all done? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to try them out? Sure. sure. Let's do it. And there you have it. These shakers are pretty to look at and fun to play with. And when your kids use them as instruments, they learn about rhythm and patterns. Try this craft at home and let us know how it goes with a photo or video tagged Mother Goose Club or leave comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for other crafts, tips, activities, and more. Bye! Let's do it again. <laughs> From there? Okay. Okay. <laughs>
That's it. He said pink. What are you doing? Blue. That's a, um, <gasps> it's a waffle. That's a waffle. Waffle! I told you this little ball of dough had superpowers. So add some Play-Doh to your playtime and show us how it goes. When you share your tips with us, you help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn. So please hashtag your videos and pictures with Mother Goose Club and let us know what works for you in the comments below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to be the first to know about our new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Rachel. You may know me as Bill Brain Development. And I said that line wrong. Mommy, look, he's gonna miss the colors. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Whoops. Poke and cut Play Doh? What did I say? So let their imaginations run. <laughs> Talking to ki your children as they create. <laughs> no, I'm not because I don't know where we're picking up. Can you sit down, Briley? No, yes, so let them. <laughs> when your kids play with it, they develop. <laughs> when your kids play with it, they build. So add some Play-Doh to your Play-Doh time. <laughs> <laughs>